What's going on, y'all? So, as of right now, I'm sitting on 71 subscribers. And I told myself when I'd hit 70, I'd make this video. Channel's growing faster than I ever thought it would, which I appreciate the hell out of, though. This video is going to be... I'm, ho I'm hoping it'll be short, but you know how I am. I like to ramble. But, when I break 100 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. Somebody out there is going to get a $50 Amazon gift card. If you want to enter, all you got to do is be subscribed. And then when I do the giveaway, when I break 100, there's a there's a, a website or something that will randomly select a comment in one, in one of your videos. So I got to do more research on that, but that's the plan. If anybody's interested. No, I don't want you to subscribe if you're not genuinely interested in my videos, it's, although it's totally up to you. But that's what I plan on doing. And then at 200, I'll do one, and 300, or maybe 500. I don't know. It depends on the growth of the channel. But like I said, don't subscribe unless you like the content, or if you just want 50 bucks, that's cool too. Anyway, today's video is why I chose an F-150 to hot rod, specifically over a Chevy, a GMC, or Ram, whatever. So I wanted something practical, but also something fun. Now, one thing you should know about me, I'm a Ford guy. I have it tattooed on my fingers. I'm a bit of a fanboy, but I do like some GMs and I do like some Dodges. That being said, this is my third Coyote-powered vehicle. They've been great engines. They're fun, reliable. They sound good, and they go like hell. So that's the basis. I wanted something that was going to be practical and fun. What's more practical and fun than a single-cab, lightweight, big V8 pickup? As far as why I didn't choose a GM, the 5.3 LS is a phenomenal platform to work with. I mean, the aftermarket's damn near infinite. Swap them into anything, build them to the hills and back. But honestly, the new GMs are, they look like balls. They look like hammered balls. I don't like them. Um, they might drive great, they might be reliable, I don't know, but they're ugly. That's plain and simple. And with the used truck market right now, buying a used one just didn't make as much sense as buying a new truck. I found a 2019 F-150. It was blue. It was a single cab. Had 35 or 36,000 miles on it. They still wanted like 35 or 36,000. And it was a stock truck. When this out the door was 41 and some change. So like, I'm just going to go for the new one, you know. So, the aluminum body also attracted me to the Fords. They're, they're nice and light. But no, just the new GMs, they're, they're just, they look like both. As far as RAM, I was actually telling a coworker the other day, if I could buy a single cab 392 Hemi Ram, I would have. Although it would probably be a $50,000 single cab, you still get a 6.4 Hemi, and the Rams are tough looking trucks. So, I mean, that's... All right, I guess I'm not a huge fan of Rams quality control. I feel like their body work is probably not the body work, just the the longevity, longevity, Long, longevity sounds better. Of the body just doesn't last as long in Ohio. I mean, we're in the, the rust belt, so again, another reason the aluminum body attracted me. They seem to be holding up pretty well, but. As far as hot rodding goes, I mean, you can't beat a Coyote or an LS. I mean, the Hemi's got potential, don't get me wrong. But as far as aftermarket, Coyote or LS, the Coyote's way more expensive. And even being a Ford guy, I'll tell you that. It's super expensive to build compared to an LS. But I do like my Fords. And that's my hot rod tip of the day is don't sweat what your project car is going to be. Because you'll have a million people telling you everything up for everything different, you know. Well, if you got this, it makes more power in this rev range, and it's cheaper in this one respect, or two respects, or whatever. Buy what you like. If you want to build a nitrous Tahoe, then fucking go for it. You know, don't worry about what everybody else is telling you. Buy, well, buy what you like. Because if you buy what, what you don't like, based off what everybody's telling you, now you have a truck you're not a fan of, that you put way too much money into, and then two years down the line to sell it. And it's just coming from me, which three years down the line, I may get rid of this. I don't know. We'll see. If I supercharge it, I'm keeping it. Because that's just expensive. And that is still the plan. It may not be next summer because I got shit adulting to do, but that's my advice. Pick what you like. 
I like Fords. I like these new trucks. It is getting lowered soon. I still got to fix the exhaust. I haven't done it yet. That's my advice to anybody out there. Don't worry about what everybody else says. If you want to build a turbo minivan, then fucking do it. This is America. You have the right to buy and build whatever the hell you want. Unless you live in California. Commie bastards. I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. I appreciate all my subs. I never thought the channel would get to this point. I like making these weird little short informative videos. As a side note, um, I'm getting a little better at editing. I feel like my computer is about to take a shit though. So at some point I got to pick up a relatively cheap laptop so I can continue my practice. My laptop currently is just not in great shape. It's old, it's used. It's a gaming laptop so it's got a lot of processing power. It's, I feel like it's on, it doesn't even turn on unless it's plugged in. And it's slow as fuck. But, I'll keep you guys updated. I did get GoPro shit in, so when I do start editing my videos, I can actually use my GoPro and shit on my phone. But my phone takes pretty solid video. I mean, it's not bad. Also, I almost got a little pallet ready. So, I'll keep you guys updated. I still gotta do some practice videos with the new mic and figure out if the audio is even any better or not. But, uh. It's growing, and I never thought it would. So I appreciate all my subs. You guys are the best. I have the coolest fan base. Probably. But I love y'all. See you later.